Hey guys, today we're going to look at a card called Verdant Catacombs. This card has steadily increased in price as the other Zendikar Fetch Lands have also gone up in price due to no reprints. This is what happens when it wasn't, when it's not reprinted in something like Battle for Zendikar. These are called Zendikar Fetch Lands. And people expected, fully expected them to be in Zendikar. And you can see the price spike after they were announced they were not in Zendikar. The fact that a non-blue fetch land is $76 or $300 a playset. And yes, it's one of those cards that you need four of. Shows me that the marketplace will always be the marketplace. No matter how many reprints you do, no matter how much... Um, a card is out there there will always be cards that increase in price if you have a deck and you reprint some parts of that deck the parts that you do not reprint will increase in price to cover the savings the quote unquote savings of those reprints it's a very sad fact and I was hoping that Wizards of the Coast uh, takes notice of this and definitely it's worth explaining it's worth um, analyzing where one of the most when you have fetch lands that are so useful in modern so necessary in modern and they're not reprinted in a set that where they are called Zendikar fetch lands and there is a set called Zendikar right now a battle for Zendikar so I don't know it's questionable I know people will say oh what about standard what about standard and, you know, you don't want the... Well, if you printed this fetch land instead of the battle lands, you would be okay, right? Because you wouldn't have the battle lands. You would just have whatever the industry lands are called. And you would have the pain lands. You would not have an additional set of fetch lands. Yes, you would have a, a time where people could start fetching for stuff. But they wouldn't be fetching the battle lands because the battle lands would have been replaced by the fetch lands. Anyway, it's just interesting to me. A non-blue fetch land is $76 TCG mids, $300 a playset. Uh, it is one of the most popular decks. Jund, the colors that it's currently in, is extremely popular. And if you didn't buy them when they were $50, now they're $75. Could this card hit $100? I really hope not, but... Um, the fact that it may not see a reprint until next year's Modern Masters could push it over 100 easily.